All right, some fun stuff in today's video. If you look straight across from where I'm walking, you'll see a couple pipes that are sticking out there. I hid a toy bumper for my dog, and we'll get to that later. I also had a Frisbee right there on the ground that I'm sitting my dog on. Kind of like when you mark a golf ball. If I turn around and see that he's off the Frisbee, I can tell where he moved. Now in this game, I'm going to throw a bumper over to the side there in the water. It's a white bumper. You can use a tennis ball. You can use whatever you want. It's really windy. It's going to blow a lot. But on this game here that we're going to play, the whole idea here is so on this first one, he watches this and we just send him. And for the sake of time, I'm going to cut off a little bit of his return swim since it takes a while. Boy, he sure swam back to the shore pretty quick now, didn't he? Even when he shakes the water off, I keep that frisbee down there so he doesn't get off there in a never-never land and stays in that same general area even to shake and sit back down. You take that frisbee away later and it becomes habit. All right, now here's where things become a little different. He retrieved that first one with no problem. But now we're going to throw two. Hey, buddy, get back on that Frisbee. Here's where comparison comes in. Even though I'm not going to send him for that first one, I am going to tell him to watch it, but then I use the word off, telling him, okay, you see it. I want you to see it, but off means leave that one alone. So I don't want to wait for him to turn and go watch the other one. I want him to acknowledge that first one so he learns two things instead of correcting him. One, he learns that's correct. Watch it because I'm giving a command for him to mark. Yes, that's right. But now, off. And what off to him means leave it alone. And you'll see where that's going to come in handy in a minute. I only teach the dog through correct commands and not through correction. So on this second one, we told him to mark, and then we gave him a command to go and get it, whatever your command might be. I use the command back. You can use whatever you want. So we had three commands in that sequence, to watch, to off, which means to leave that one alone, and to go. All right, so hang in there now with me because now he's going after the second one, which was actually the first one that we threw. And remember the three commands that we gave. Mark was to watch it. Off was to leave it alone. And to whatever your command was for him to go. So in the second sequence here, in this one that he was going, you could see how far the wind carried this, this one, which was the first one that I threw. I just told him to mark, to watch, and to go. All right, now where this little game is going to all tie in is remember when the video first started, I told you that those double pipes out there that are straight across kind of coming in the water. In that general area, I had hid one of his toys that he didn't know was there, hasn't seen thrown or anything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to throw those same two bumpers and with this wind and everything else, but we're going to call him off of the two bumpers and send him right down the middle and he's just got to trust that he's going to go to where I'm lining him to with the huge distraction of the two bumpers. So let's watch this now. Obviously you'd start this game closer and not necessarily on water, but that's where I am with this dog. All right, so we got him on his little golf marker. See, there's all kinds of games. We're even playing golf with him. Throw the first one, same picture he's seen. And that nasty wind, gonna take that. Throw the second one, same one he's seen. And back on the Frisbee. All right, so he's looking out there and I'm telling him to look out there, but then I'm telling him off. And then I'm telling him to actually look at the second one and then I'm telling him off. And now I need to get him down the middle. So there's only a couple things he's familiar with off. He's looking to the right, I'm telling him off. He's looking back and forth to that one there, and I'm telling him off. So he knows he can't look at that one, he can't look at the other one. And I'm lining him up right up the middle. And that wind's taking that frisbee, I mean that 
bumper on the left. So you can see it's it's coming over there. It's right in his line of vision. But I've lined him up to go right down the middle of those two. So the dog is learning through comparison, the comparison being to watch it and to come off of it. And those are just a comparison of two commands. No right, no wrong, just two commands. There is no training that would be only right or only wrong because there would be no comparison. You would not know the difference between a tall person and a short person if you, didn't, if you hadn't seen both. If you'd only seen tall people, you wouldn't know tall from short. The only way you know this guy's tall and this guy's short is comparison. You wouldn't know hot and cold if you only knew cold. So we had his energy boxed in a very small structure of watch off and go so it's really all about just moving the dog's energy around then you just squeeze it into a box like combustion and you're able to manipulate that with the sit means sit remote training collar and just push everything forward and you can really have some great results the, the key is learning the system so thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you soon